Good evening, my name is Evan Davis. I'm a third year criminal justice and sociology major here at the Rochester Institute of Technology. And tonight I'm gonna to be discussing mass incarceration. So mass incarceration is a term used by sociologists to describe the upward increase of prisoners in the US prison system over the past 40 years or so. It's speculated to have originated with the passing of the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, but allowed for involuntary servitude in case of criminal punishment. This began to disproportionately affect black people who were newly freed slaves. Through policies such as the Jim Crow laws, black people were imprisoned and put back to the same work that they were once recently freed from. In more modern times, mass incarceration bolstered with the tough on crime policies that erupted in the 1960s and 1970s. This led to major issues such as the school to prison pipeline, which is a term that's used to describe the increase in connections between students and juvenile correction system in the prison industrial complex, which is the link between for-profit prisons, government policy, and corporate America. Mass incarceration can be attributed to two things. First, the increase in number of people being sent to jail, and second, the increase in the time being served in jail. According to the Sentencing Project, since the official beginning of the war on drugs in 1982, the number of people being sent to jail for drug-related drug offenses has skyrocketed from 41,000 in 1980 to nearly half a million in, 1914, in 2014. Today, there's more than... There's more people behind bars for drug offenses than the number of people who were imprisoned for any sort of offense in 1980. Additionally, harsh sentencing laws such as mandatory minimums, combined with the cutbacks in the parole off and parole releases, keep people in prisons for a lot longer periods of time. The National Research Council reports that half of the 222% growth rate in state prison population between 1980 and 2010 was due to the increase in time being served in prison for all offenses. The best way that we can possibly fix this is to first get rid of the mandatory minimums. It would greatly reduce the number of people in prison for a longer period of time. If each crime is treated as an individual case rather than a textbook mold, less criminals, especially nonviolent offenses, will be harsher sentenced. Additionally, relocating resources to actual mental illness and drug abuse help would relieve a lot of the burden from prisons that have incarcerated people struggling with those issues as a form of help for them. The system isn't necessarily broken, it's just designed to fail. For society to be better, we have to work on actually fixing the flaws in the system, and that's how we can make things a whole lot better for the people in prison, for mass incarceration as a whole, and taking down things such as the school-to-prison pipeline and the prison industrial complex.